Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sparkle English, where I teach you how to improve your level of English. My name is Jennifer, and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you the difference between past and past. So the words past, P-A-S-T, and past, P-A-S-S-E-D, are often confused in English. This is because they have the same pronunciation, past but they have different meanings and uses. So let's talk about each of these words individually. And at the end of this lesson, we will have a 10 question quiz. First of all, past, P-A-S-T, can be an adverb, a preposition, a noun, or an adjective. But note that it is not a verb. It's not a verb. So oftentimes you will see the word past after a verb, but it is not a verb itself. For example, I walked past the school. So we have the verb walked, and the word past is talking about the relationship between where I am and the school is. So imagine here's the school, and here's me. I'm going to walk past the school. So now I'm here. But the verb is walked, it's not past. Look at another example. He rushed past me on his way to catch the train. So again, I'm here and here's another guy and he rushed past me, okay? So the verb here is rushed, it's not past. Now let's look at past as a noun form. Scrooge was haunted by his past for many years. So past is essentially the opposite of future. Scrooge is haunted or bothered by things he did in the past many years ago. Another example with past as a noun, let's leave the past behind and focus on the future. And now let's look at past as an adjective. The past week has been very stressful for me. So we have last week, the week previously, which is the opposite of next week. Okay, now let's look at past, P-A-S-S-E-D. Past is a verb. It is the past tense and past participle of the verb pass. It means to move or go by something, to succeed in something, or to die. For example, a race car passed me on the highway. In this case, we don't have any other verbs. We only have past. You could write a race car drove past me on the highway and it would mean the same thing. But drove past would be written like this, P-A-S-T. A race car drove past because we would have the verb drive in the past tense. Okay? But if you're using past just as a verb itself, you have to write P-A-S-S-E-D. Drove past would be the same as past, but we would be using the word past as an adverb or a preposition depending on what comes after. I know this seems complicated, but try to remember that P-A-S-S-E-D is a verb. So if there's no other verb after the subject, you have to use it in the verb form you have to use the verb P-A-S-S-E-D. And if there is a verb like walked, rushed, drove, then you would write P-A-S-T, the adverb or the preposition. Another example, I passed my driving test on the first try. So in this case, you can pass a test or the opposite, you can fail a test. Another example, he passed away peacefully in his sleep. If someone passes away, it's a polite way of saying that they died. It's a more gentle way of saying someone died. Miranda had never passed a test with such a high score before, and she was very proud. Here we have the past participle, passed, but this is in the past perfect tense, had never passed. So it's still in a verb form. Okay, so now we're going to do a test. I just want you to remember that if there's no verb, we have to use the verb past, P-A-S-S-E-D. And 
If you believe the word functions as a noun, an adjective, an adverb, or a preposition, you will write P-A-S-T. So that's the trick to getting these correct. Let's start with number one. I, the test with excellent results. The correct answer is passed, P-A-S-S-E-D. I passed the test with excellent results. We have to use the verb passed. Number two. Yesterday, I buy the new cafe on my way to work. The correct answer is passed, P-A-S-S-E-D. Again, there's no verb here, so we have to use the verb passed. Number three, she can't seem to let go of her mistakes. The correct answer is past, P-A-S-T, her past mistakes. Here, past is an adjective, and it's talking about the mistakes that happened perhaps years ago. Number four, the plane over the mountains and landed safely in the valley. The correct answer is past, P-A-S-S-E-D. Again, we need a verb, so we have to use the verb past. Number five, you can't hold my against me. We all make mistakes. The correct answer is past, P-A-S-T, which functions as a noun. You can't hold my past against me. We all make mistakes. Number six, the week has been very busy for me. The correct answer is past, P-A-S-T, which functions as an adjective. The previous week, the past week, has been very busy for me. Number seven, I'm sorry, but that opportunity has you by. The correct answer is past, P-A-S-S-E-D. Again, this is the verb form in the present perfect, that opportunity has passed you by. Number eight, they, the time, waiting for the bus by playing games on their phones. The correct answer is past, P-A-S-S-E-D. They pass the time waiting for the bus by playing games on their phones. Again, we need the verb, past. Number nine, we drove the park on our way to the grocery store. This is a tricky one, and the correct answer is past, P-A-S-T. We have the verb drove, so past, we're not using the verb past. Number 10, the storm caused a lot of damage, but the business owner managed to get it and rebuild his hotel. Here, the correct answer is past, P-A-S-T to get past it and rebuild his hotel. To get past something is a phrasal verb. It means to get over something, to overcome something. Okay, so this was a more difficult test. I want you to let us know in the comment section how many you got correct out of 10. And I encourage you to try to write a practice sentence using past P-A-S-T and past P-A-S-S-E-D. You can check out my full playlist on common English errors, which I will link you to in the description below this video. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to Sparkle English for more lessons on how to improve your level of English.